here. Oh, 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 no. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lip Liner Collection. First of all, I'm super late with this video because I got these lipsticks last week and I'm just now getting the video, video up for them. So I do apologize about that, but I'm definitely going to give you guys the tea on these liquid lipsticks. So if you're interested in seeing me try on a couple of shades and give you guys my opinion on these lipsticks, then stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. Also, if I look very similar to my last upload, it is because I recorded both of those videos in the same day. Your girl is being productive, so don't clock me because I didn't change my shirt. All right, let's get into the video. So here I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks and um, I have them in this box that belongs to another company because they sent these liquid lipsticks in um, those bubble mailers and you know when you have stuff shipped through these shipping companies they be dirty and disgusting so I had to throw that away so I just stuck them all in this box. I got every single shade that Jacqueline had on her website. Um, I actually accidentally ordered two of one of the shades and clearly I am not going to be able to wear every single one of these shades because a lot of these shades are just too light for me. So I'm only going to be trying on the shades that complement my skin tone because that is what I can wear so the rest of these liquid lipsticks at the end of the video i am going to be doing a giveaway so if you're interested in seeing how you can win some of these jacqueline hill cosmetic pout spoken liquid lipsticks then make sure you watch this video all the way through to the end and i'll tell you exactly what you need to do to enter this giveaway all right you guys so the four lipstick shades that i'm going to be trying or i'm sorry the five lipstick shades that i'm going to be trying on for you guys is be bold gratitude absolutely absolutely feisty and crabby so this is what they look like here so some people were saying that these lipsticks were giving them Kylie cosmetic vibes um I personally don't see it her tubes are longer the design is completely different I don't know why these people are trying to clock Jacqueline for her packaging because it looks nothing like Kylie Cosmetics, but that is just my opinion. So one of the things that I noticed right off with Jacqueline's lipsticks is the packaging. So first of all, the packaging was pretty beat up when it came in the mail, but I won't fault them for that because I know, you know, you can't really control once you ship this stuff off with these shipping companies. I mean, I guess it's kind of out of their hands, but I think if they also would have used like especially for somebody like me who bought every lipstick shade, if they would have used like a box or something like this, it probably could have prevented them from being, you know, all beat up, but nobody keeps the boxes anyway, so I'm not gonna complain about that. But what I don't like is how these shades on the bottom of the boxes do not match the actual color of these lipsticks. So some of these shades, especially on the website, looked like I could wear them and then when they got here most of them especially the lighter shades I could not wear let's take this shade I'm a cancer for example so when you look at the bottom of the box it looks kind of like taupey like a like a peachy undertone type of nude. I'm so bad at describing shades, so just bear with me. But this is what the bottom of the box looks like, and this is what it looks like inside of the tube. So again, here it is here on the back of my hand, and then this is the box next to it. It looks very warm toned, whereas on the back of my hand, it looks extremely pink. Now I can make this shade work with a brown lip liner, but I'm not gonna keep this shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and start trying on the shades that I can wear. I'm gonna be using the MAC Chestnut uh, Lip Liner to line my lips with each of the shades that I'm gonna be wearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on Absolutely, which was the first shade that I swatched on the back of my hand. So 
So now that this is dried down, I will say the formula for this lipstick is really, really nice. Um, I wear a lot of the ABH liquid lipsticks and what I've noticed with those, they are a thicker texture, but they can be very, very drying and they will like sometimes settle in the fine lines of your lips. And your lips will peel if you do not exfoliate them beforehand if you get dry lips like myself. So I'm not getting that with this liquid lipstick. The formula was very thin and it has like a vanilla scent to it. And I was worried about how that was gonna dry down, but it dried down really nicely. It's not settling into my lips. It's very comfortable. It actually even feels a little bit hydrating too. So this is actually really, really nice. I do like this and it's not coming off like that dried down really, really nicely. And again, this is the shade, absolutely. So um, I can tell that I am gonna really like these liquid lipsticks. Um, so far, the only issue that I've had is just the misleading shade coloring on the bottom of the package. But aside from that, I like it. It just has like, you know, your basic doe foot applicator. And again, it has a vanilla -y scent, so it's not like super strong or overpowering. It's not going to have your eyes watering. So I really do like this um, so far. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next shade. So I'm not going to take this off because I don't want to rub my lips to death. So I'm going to swatch the rest of these on the back of my hand. So this next shade is the shade Feisty. And this is what Feisty looks like. Like this is a brown, but it has like a red undertone to it. So this will look, look good on deep, dark, rich skin tone. And I think this will look really nice in the fall. Personally, for me, I would only wear something like this in the fall. This is not something I would wear in the spring or the, or the summer. Um, but I think this is a very beautiful shade and this would look very nice on deep, dark skin. And this would make a great winter or fall color. So the next shade that I'm going to swatch for you guys is Be Bold. So Be Bold is this shade right here. And it's kind of like a, um, like a deep peachy color this is really cute i would definitely see myself wearing this shade as well um but this is also going to be more of a fall shade for me i could probably pull this off in the spring and summertime depending on the type of look that i'm going for but another very very beautiful shade and this shade is definitely gonna look good on my dark skin girls so i really really like this shade also as well so the next shade that I'm going to swatch for you guys is Gratitude and this one is actually my favorite shade out of the whole collection. Alright and this is what it looks like. This is like the perfect nude for me. It's not too warm, it's not too dark, but it's not too light either. This is something that I could see myself wearing like every single day like heading out of the house when I'm doing just a quick beat. Um, this is actually perfect for me and I did try this shade on this is the shade that I actually got first and the shade that kind of made me decide let me buy a couple of these lipsticks and see what they're talking about so yeah that shade again is gratitude and it is my favorite shade and I think it really looks nice up against my skin tone and I think women of deeper skin tone would really look nice with this especially with like a dark brown lip liner um, just to give you that nice contrast on the lips so yeah that's the shade gratitude all right and then the last shade i'm gonna swatch for you guys is crabby so this is crabby right here on the end it's like a corally pink and i think this is going to be perfect for spring and summer and i personally do like this color now i feel like this color is very versatile along with gratitude these shades are going to be the most versatile to me especially when it comes to uh dark skinned women like myself this is going to be great for spring and summer and i definitely see myself wearing this color again the formula on these are really nice even when you see them drying down on the back of my hand they don't look super dry they're very pigmented it's the pigment for sure is definitely there and they're very comfortable these are really really nice and I think Jacqueline did a good job when she formulated these lipsticks so again this is the shade Krabby and I'm definitely going to keep this for myself. I don't want to swatch the other shades because I want to give them away for you guys. So if you want to see maybe some of the lighter shades, I'm sure there's somebody else on YouTube um, who can swatch those for you and show you what they look like. But I know that I cannot wear those. So instead of wasting those lipsticks, I'm just going to give them away to you guys. These liquid lipsticks retailed for $20 each 
which I know is on the pricey side but I feel like when you have a good formula that's definitely worth it it's worth the money I personally would repurchase uh, these shades again so I would definitely spend the 20 bucks but that is just me I do wish that there would have been a little bit more range with the darker shades but overall I think Jaclyn did a really good job with the formula All right, you guys, so that is going to wrap up today's review on the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks. Other than the packaging and the mishap with the color on the bottom of the box, aside from that, I don't have anything bad to say about these lipsticks, and I definitely do see myself repurchasing them. Um, I do hate that I didn't get a chance to test out any of the lip liners because they did look promising and I'm sure they would have looked great paired with these liquid lipsticks and hopefully if they do restock I'll be able to purchase them and we can probably do a separate review with the lip liners next time. So just make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, leave your email or your Instagram handle in the comment section and then comment which shades you like the most out of the liquid lipstick collection so that is gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time i'll see you guys in my next upload